If you have a septic system and want to learn how to take care of it, you're in the right place. A little bit of maintenance goes a long way to save you money, protect our water, and keep your system running for years to come. And we have resources to help you. Septic care starts with understanding how your system works. While there are many types of septic systems, they share common key features. When you use water in your home, the wastewater flows down your drains and into your septic tank. Most tanks have two chambers, though older systems may have only one. Beneficial bacteria begin breaking down waste in the tank. Solids settle on the bottom. Floatables, such as oil and grease, rise to the top, and the liquid in the middle, called effluent, flows to a second chamber, where another round of settling occurs. Over time, the solids and floatables build up and need to be pumped out. Your system may have risers that allow for easy access to the tank. Risers make access for inspections and pumping much easier and can be added if your system doesn't have them. The effluent then flows out of the tank into your drain field, where it is dispersed over a layer of gravel before sinking into the soil. As effluent drains through the gravel and soil, bacteria break down pollutants so that the water is clean before it reaches our groundwater. Your system also likely includes a reserve area, which is set aside for future use as a drain field if your current one fails. Your system was designed specifically for your property. Gravity systems are the most basic type and can be used in well-drained soils. For sites with poorly draining soils, slopes, or limited space, a more complex system, which can include pumps and additional components, may be necessary to make sure the water is fully treated. The wastewater from your home contains harmful bacteria, pathogens, and pollutants. By properly maintaining your septic system, these hazards get cleaned up to ensure that the water leaving your property is clean, which protects people, pets, and the environment. So how do you take care of your septic system? First, know your system. Visit the Snohomish Health District's website to access your home's septic system records. These tell you what type of system you have, including as-built drawings so you can locate the tank, drain field, and reserve area. Second, choose wisely in your house. Avoid putting anything down your drain that is slow to break down, which can clog your system's pipes, filters, and drain lines. These also fill your tank faster, resulting in more frequent pumping. Use water wisely to avoid overloading your system. Too much water going into the system prevents solids from settling out of the effluent before moving into the drain field, causing clogs. Fix leaks, use water-saving appliances, and space out loads of dishes and laundry. Also, avoid putting harsh chemicals down your drain or toilet. These disrupt the function of the helpful bacteria in the system and may pollute our groundwater, streams, lakes, and rivers. Third, maintain your tank. Schedule routine inspections at least every three years. Complex systems such as sand filters or aerobic treatment units require more frequent inspections. Visit the Snohomish Health District's website to access a list of certified septic professionals. The inspection will ensure your system is working and let your provider know if pumping is needed. A little bit of maintenance goes a long way to protect our waterways and save you money. Finally, protect your drain field and reserve area. Keep these areas clear of anything that may compact or saturate the soil, which damages the system. Be sure to call your septic professional right away if you find odors or wet spots. And that's it. Now you know the basics of septic care. Just remember to know your system, choose wisely in your house, maintain your tank, protect your drain field and reserve area. There are also many resources available to help you care for your septic system.